man, oh man, I got a hail Mary for you guys here today. Now, before you go ahead and watch this video, what I suggest you do is go ahead and check under your couch, behind your couch, under your bed. Try to see if you could find some change. Because I suggest that you're going to take that change and use that change to possibly look into investing in this stock. But wait a second, this is not financial advice. This is going to be a high risk. Let me repeat that again. High risk, high reward. The ticker symbol here is going to be HCMC, Healthier Choices. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you're going to be familiar with the rundown in this video. I'm going to give you a simple breakdown about what the business does, and then I'm going to get into the financial analysis, which is a must-do for every single stock you look at. More important with penny stocks like this one. Now, if you already watched the previous video, you'll know the most important, the first thing you got to do, the first thing before you even know what the company does okay maybe that might be premature but the first thing you have to do is check the balance sheet check the balance sheet make sure the company has enough assets and is not in any risk of going bankrupt this is the biggest risk for almost all penny stocks 99 percent of them will fail is this going to be the one percent that does not fail and actually blows up possibly 5x 10x that's what we're going to get into in this video. Now, first thing I want to go ahead and establish here is if you look at the stock price for HCMC, you'll see that this stock is trading at 0 0.0043. Now, despite that small share price, this company is not a small company. At the time when I'm making this video, they're about a 600 million market cap company. This is actually the first time I've seen this, but they have so many shares outstanding that it looks like they're a, they're a small company, but they're not. That 600 billion market cap is, is just divided by like 70 to 80 billion shares outstanding, which is why it's trading at such a low price. But this is a fairly big company. Now, to get into what they do, to put this really simply, this company sells natural and organic groceries. They have a grocery store in Florida, and this is a massive grocery store. It's over 1,800 square feet. And they also have a few other grocery stores in Florida as well. Now, that's the first piece of their business. The second piece of their business is going to be vape products. And that's going to be about 10 to 20% of their revenue. But the bulk of the money they make comes from grocery stores. Now, before I go ahead and get into the potential opportunity here, let's go ahead and look at the harsh news first. This is an extremely risky company. Take a look at their balance sheet and income statement right now. And just a quick look, I can show you guys why this is going to be a big risky play. And then after that, we're going to go into the reward and why this stock can easily double. Like I said earlier, the first thing we're going to do is check the balance sheet. You always want to make sure that this company has enough assets to go ahead and sustain operations for the near future. Now, if you take a look at this right here, you'll see cash and cash equivalents, that first line up there. As of September 30th, 2020, they had about $600,000 of cash and cash equivalents. Now, if you go ahead and keep on going down, you'll see they have total current assets of $2.8 million. Now, what's interesting here, though, is if you scroll down to that total current liabilities line item, so you keep going down, you'll see total current liabilities. They have 7 million total current liabilities, $7 million in total current liabilities. That's as of September 30th, 2020. They only have 2.8 million in current assets. So their current assets are way smaller than their current liabilities. You know, their current liabilities are in excess of over $5 million over their current assets, which means that this company is actually having a really difficult time to sustain its current operations. It doesn't have much cash on hand to support short-term liquidity. It only has $600,000, but their total liabilities are $11 million. So the balance sheet isn't really looking too good. There's not much cash and they have a lot of current liabilities. Now, also not to mention that this company has over $2 million of current debt that's due but they also have another $3.4 million of current debt that's due. So in total, 
they have five and a half million dollars of debt that they have to pay pretty soon. Now, fortunately for these guys, they were actually able to raise five million dollars through equity financing. So investors were able to pitch in and these guys raised five million dollars. That's pretty good for them. But even with that being said, they're burning through so much cash and they don't have much assets on the balance sheet, which is a big red flag. Now let's go ahead and take a look at their income statement. Okay, so you can see here from their income statement that they had total sales of 10.6 million as of September 30th, 2020. You need to look at that nine months ended column, September 30th, 2020, and you'll see here that they're making about $10.6 million in the first nine months of 2020. Now you can definitely see that they've lost about a million dollars since last year, September 30th, 2019. So that's probably because of COVID. But what's also worth noting here is after these guys pay off their selling general and administrative expenses, and they pay all their operating expenses off, they're actually burning through money. They're burning through $2.6 million in cash. You can see that line that says loss from operations in all capitals. So go to the right, you'll see they're losing $2.6 million in cash for the first nine months of September 2020. So they don't have much going on in the balance sheet and they're losing $2.6 million of cash in the first nine months of 2020. So for the full year of 2020, they probably lost over $3 million of cash. Now, that's extremely problematic because you have a company that's probably struggling to operate and stay in business. And now with that being said, I gave you the big risk to the stock. So if you're still watching now, we can start talking about the reward. This is going to be a Hail Mary. So make sure that you find the change under your couch and consider using that money to invest into this. Now I said that money because you don't wanna make this a huge portion of your portfolio because of the risk involved with a company like this. If you have some extra money to spend, maybe you wanna consider putting it here just as an entertaining play. Where is the reward? How can you actually make money on this? So as of recently, investors on social media, Reddit, and all these threads have been pumping this stock up on hopes that they're going to win a lawsuit. The company pretty much filed a patent infringement lawsuit against a huge international tobacco company by the name of Philip Morris. And this lawsuit has to do with the famous IQOS heat non-burn product. Healthier Choices is actually not the first company to go ahead and have this fight over the IQOS patent. There's also another British American company by the name of BTI that had the same patent battle in 2020. Now, IQOS is extremely popular as the giant Philip Motors says it's sold almost 13 million devices already. And so that's the play here. Healthier Choices is entering into this battle, this patent infringement battle with this giant over the IQOS product. Now, I can show you and I can break down the numbers as to how much money you can make if these guys win this patent battle. So there have been reports that say that this lawsuit is worth over 700 million. If Healthier Choices is able to win this lawsuit and get that $700 million, then you guys can make a lot of money. And by a lot, I mean that this stock can double. Let me show you this quick math to show you why this stock can double. So I'm literally gonna do the math on the computer right here. If this lawsuit is worth $700 million, we're going to go ahead and divide that by the total shares outstanding of the stock. Because if they win the $700 million, you can now divide that with all the shares of the stock outstanding, some of the shares that you might own, and that shows you how much you can potentially get if you own a certain amount of shares of stock outstanding. So 700 million is going to be the prize money here, and there's going to be 82 billion shares that are currently outstanding. So if you do the math on this, you're going to get to a stock price of $0.0085. This thing is trading at around 0 0.004 right now. So this analysis shows you that if this Hail Mary works and this company is able to win that $700 million lawsuit, then 
those 82 billion shares outstanding, if you own one share of stock, it should be worth 0 0.008. Currently, it's trading at 0 0.004, so that's over 100% return if that does happen. Now, that's a big if because I already showed you the company's running out of money. Who knows if they have the money to actually go through this lawsuit because you know that somebody as big as the people they are going to battle with are going to carry this out for a long time because this is a very successful product. This is a very successful device. So they're going to stall this out and they're going to drag it on, which means that Healthier Choices needs to find the money to pay for this lawsuit. You could potentially make a good return on this, but it's extremely risky, and I would suggest using the change under your couch. This is not financial advice, it's just my opinions and what I think. If you want some more analysis for this video, and if you guys have stayed this long into the video, comment down below for a part two, and I can give you guys another update. If you like this video, comment down below, like the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.